created two child pages uh, which are going to come off the gallery here. So to do this, I am going to click on the customize menu, which is on the top and wait for it to load. And once it's loaded, I'm going to click on the menus, which are on the left hand side. And then we're going to click on J2 bloggy menu. And then once we've done that, we are going to add a new item in. Now you might have already typed the name of the page in. So for example, I got birthday cakes. If that's the case, click on the plus there. And you can see birthday cakes now has been added in and it's been added into the bottom uh, or the end of the navigation bar. Now I want to make this a sub page of my product. So what I'm going to do is just drag this up and you can see I've moved it in slightly. So now this is a sub page of my uh, products here. I'm going to add another page in, Easter Cakes, and I'm going to click on Add. And you can see that's coming to the bottom. We're going to do exactly the same, just drag it up. Just make sure you don't make it uh, a sub page of a sub page. So you can see there now accidentally, look, I've made this Easter eggs is a sub page of birthdays. So if that's the case, just move that back out and it comes back again. We're going to add one more page in. and click on add and then we're going to again move that up now if you need to reorder any of these pages so for example if i want to put the gallery before the product all you've got to do is click on that and just drag it up and you can see it's done now it'll give you a quick preview of what it's done there on the left hand side which looks good so i'm going to click on publish and what you'll notice is that save now for some reason this can happen where the um, some of the pages will be booted out for some reason. If that happens to you, don't worry. Close the editor and then just open it back up. Go into customize, go in, into menus, click on J2 Bloggy again. And you can see for some reason now Easter Cakes is there and it's there. So all we're gonna do is click on this drop down here and remove it from that menu bar. Now you may need to do that a few times so you can see special offers is there as well as there. So again, I'm gonna click on that, remove, and then we're ready to publish again. Now once you've done that once, it should be fine. Click on the little cross on the top and then that will save.